Joining us now is Tina, her sister Michelle, and baby Ava and Dr. Hillary. Good to see all of you this morning. <laughs> Amazing that you're so cute and healthy as well, because your mum went through all sorts of things. Tina, do you have any memories at all? What are, what are your thoughts when you look back at that period? Are there anything? Um, I just have memory of like the up to ten weeks of pregnancy, then everything's a blur, a blackout, and. <laughs> but oh, and and the moment that you sort of came back into consciousness. Mm -hmm. Must have come as a pretty big shock to you that you it was, everything you'd gone I, through. I still really wasn't aware. It wasn't until this was January 2016, and that's the earliest memory I have, like doing my physio and being discharged from hospital, and then obviously not enough time before Ava decided to come. Here is an extraordinary book that your family put together yes. for you. A scrapbook, Michelle, of memories, photographs. This is a, what a fantastic fourth mm. site to have to put this together so that mum knows yeah. what actually happened yeah um, itu actually provided us with the idea to do a diary so that when tina was well enough then she could read through and know that we were there every day mm. you know just willing for her to mm. to get better and um <coughs> Yeah. Tina, pregnancy is a time when you get ready for your baby, where you, you know, the, the development, you get your head round it, you plan the nursery, you think about how you're going to be as a mum. Do you feel robbed of that preparation time? Oh, definitely. Like, I've, if I could turn back and know what was happening, I don't know, things may have been different, but I'm just thankful that I've got Ava, she's healthy oh, yeah. and, she, like, one on Monday, so... It's, it's a blessing. What were the risks to Ava and to Mum while all of this were happening? Well, it's, it's a serious condition and it's not, it's not common at all. Okay. What happens is the, the body makes antibodies um, to, in this case, it was an ovarian cyst, um, an ovarian tumour. Um, so the antibodies can cross the blood-brain barrier, cause inflammation of the brain, which is what encephalitis is. But unlike bacterial uh, or infective encephalitis, this happens gradually over weeks or many months. And the first sign was you thought you were getting demented. Um, uh, so psychiatrically, it often presents that way with memory disturbance, behavioural problems. So I think you ran across a football pitch, ran across a dual carriageway. Nobody knew what was going on. And the big message here, this is a really important message because she's raised, Tina's raised awareness of this condition, is that if someone's got no history of mental illness and something like this happens, ask the doctors, could this be due to uh, an autoimmune condition, yeah. due to some other underlying disease? Yeah. Well, it's lovely to see you, and um, you know you're looking well and healthy, and no long-term effects on either um, you or Ava. No, not not, <laughs> not now. No, Ava's we have that effect on a lot of people. <laughs> isn't, about it, isn't she? On? Her is all before. Mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're both, you know, well and yeah. Well, we've both had a lot of support from the Encephalitis Society as well yeah. through media and everything, but. In the long run, we, sh we should be fine. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Definitely. Well well happy done. birthday, Ava. Yeah. I think Kate gave <laughs> you with one of her scripts as a I birthday did. She present. said to sit down and, yeah, and it's, it's all written up beautifully. So, <laughs> <laughs> great to see you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you so much.